How's it going, Nintendo Buzz? I've recently gotten my hands on some upgraded internet, so as a result, you guys get upgraded quality, so I hope you enjoy a more or less, uh, just a random match I had versus someone by the name of, uh, Cooper's Man, I believe about a week or two ago, something like that. Dates aren't really important. But he's gonna lead with an ammo pom, I'm gonna lead with a manectric, decide that that's a, uh, bad idea to stay in, and I have somebody that wants to take that a lot better, and that's gonna be my Eviolite Rhydon. Now, those of you that don't know what Eviolite is, it's a hell item that increases the defense and special defense of a, a uninvolved Pokemon holding it by uh, 50%. So, that with that U-turn being a crit, I still take it amazingly. With the fake out in the U-turn, I'm not even at half health, and he's a life orb Amapom, so I can wear him down just by sitting there not doing anything. But as a U-turns out, I know barring the low kick, uh, I won't really be hurt by anything, so I take that turn to set up my rocks, which is going to be kind of nice to have out, as you're going to see. Uh, he ends up going for the Grass Knot. I'm not really sure what I was predicting, but uh, it seemed to work out. Maybe the Nasty Plot, whatever these monkeys get. I don't really see them that often, and just, bleh, I don't know. Anyways, he goes for the Focus Blast. I was kind of scared because I didn't know whether or not I was going to be able to live it, but it turns out I do. I take it really nicely because he's, uh, he's not set up yet, so I'm going to go for a Flame Charge to outspeed him and fo hopefully take him out after that point. So I got my Flame Charge, and I should definitely be faster than him because I think he is naturally the same base speed as me, but I'm running adamant, so once I get the Flame Charge in, I can outspeed him. So that's the plan, and it worked out pretty good because I'm able to take him out with a Wild Charge. Uh, I'm not sure if the crit mattered because I am adamant, and uh, that lefties from the... I think the lefties from the first two turns come back to save me here as I live with 20, which is really nice, but I forgot he had Ambipom, which is unfortunate. So, I just leave uh, Rapidash in to die at this point. At least I took something out, but, uh, yeah, it lets me get a safe switch in on Ambipom, which is going to be nice. Also, stacks up some more rocks, re uh, life of recoil, excuse me, and with uh, rocks and whatnot. Why did it slow down so bad? Whatever. Okay, so Rhydon comes in. I know that I can take just about any hit from it. And as you can see, I have not touched this Ambipom with any hit whatsoever. It's already at about half health, and my Rhydon is at about half health. So, I'm getting the better end of this. So, he brings in Mew. And uh, I don't know what it wants to do, and I didn't know what he wanted to switch out to, so I just went for the Stone Edge, because it's Stab and whatnot, and maybe I can get a crit, but uh, he's going to go for the Rocks, and uh, I think, I, yeah, I go for the Stone Edge again. I honestly cannot remember what I was predicting to switch to, but it seemed to do enough damage, so that's a two-hit KO after Rocks and whatnot, because I think I'm running max HP and attack. So he goes into Venusaur, which scares me out with the uh, times 4 grass move. I think I decide trying to stay in just as fodder slash, you know, seeing if I can take it. And that is a times 4 super effective move, guys. And with Eviolite, no solid rock or anything, uh, I take it with 12 and I'm able to hit him. I'm almost able to kill him off with an Ice Punch, which is, wow, I love, I love using Rhydon in this generation so much. But, uh... He's a physical Venusaur, so he's going to go ahead and hit me with the Earthquake. Had he, had, had he been special and he was running an Energy Ball, I would have not uh, gotten the Ice Punch in on him, but I probably would have had something else to handle it. So, uh, in comes my Manectric, and I do have Flamethrower on this guy, so I'm just going to go ahead and go for that, I believe. And uh, he leaves it in his fodder, not wanting anything else to take it. And uh, I know he's still got Ambipom, so he's probably going to bring that out again next turn. That's what Ambipom... No, he actually doesn't do that. He brings in Dragonite, and... Uh, Thankfully, I have Rock set up because Dragonites like to carry multi-scale, and uh, I was under the impression as well that this was Hidden Power Ice. It's Grass, as you can see by the damage. So, that really sucks. He's going to get a, uh, a free setup turn, and I don't like the sound of that or the looks of that anything. So, he's going to go for the Dragon Climb, assuming with multi-scale he might be a bulkier build, but... Uh, even still, that's still going to take me out just after plus one because Manectric is that fragile, so that's unfortunate. But uh, I'm going to go into my uh, Durant, my Titaniant here, knowing I should be able to take at least one hit barring a Fire Punch and uh, hopefully hit him with a Stone Edge immediately after. And thank God it hits because I didn't have anything for this uh, this Dragonite at this point. And that's even, that's even with the Hustle Boost. So I think uh, Stone Edge's accuracy is like 85 or 80 or something like that. So it would be 80% of that, which is... I don't know, I wasn't, I'm not really a math wizard, but it's not really that good. So, uh, he's gonna go for the fake out, take out my Durant, I leave it in his fodder, and, uh, yeah, he's just wearing himself down with recoil, which is really funny. And, uh, I don't think I have anything on this team that actually outspeeds it, but I'm gonna bring in Wartortle, my second guy with Eviolite, who I know will be able to take hits just as well. Um, I'm not necessarily better, but, uh, I don't know why it slowed down so much right there, but I take the U-turn really well as well. And uh, he's going to go ahead and switch out. For some reason, my playback lagged back a lot there. But I sped up this next part as much as Sony Vegas would allow me to. 
because this is uh this is a portion of the match where war total proves his worth by being a bamf so uh I'm gonna go for the scald on that guy, and uh, yeah, I'm actually surprised at how slow this is. But uh, yeah, this is just gonna consist of me toxic stalling, and it turns out he has nightshade, and uh, I have aqua ring on my guy to get a little bit of recovery back since I am a toxic stalling set. So uh, I'm gonna set up that aqua ring right now, and uh, as the toxic damage is just going, I don't know why Sony Vegas wouldn't let me speed this up more. So I apologize in advance, but uh, yeah, go for the protect. Just and he actually does end up going for the taunt, which is kind of nasty, but. Honestly, uh, I only would have probably alternated between protecting and uh, the, the the scalding just to add on damage, and it's a Deoxys defense, so I don't know why he's not switching out. I guess he really doesn't want his Ambipom to take that uh, that scald hit, so he just goes for the reco recover and uh, lets toxic damage stack up some more, which seemed kind of silly to me. But uh, knowing he, he knew that he probably would have died, no, he would have died to a uh, Scald and Rock switch in, and then Deoxys would have just been Toxic Stalled. So if he was going to wear me down, he had to do it now. If he had a third poke, he could have easily gone into that. But thinking about it, it was kind of a, uh, a catch-22. He was going to lose something one way or another. I'm not sure if I used that term properly, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Toxic finally kills him off, which is nice, and I think my fade went a little weird, though. But he, bring, he brings in his Ambipom again for the last time, and... Uh, I'm going to go for the Protect just to get a little bit more uh, Aqua Ring recovery, which is going to be nice. And uh, it means he can't fake out either, which is cool. So I'm at about 157, and he ends up going for an Aerial Ace because I guess that's the strongest move he has because it's boosted by Technician. But uh, not by Stab, so it doesn't end up doing that much. And he ends up killing himself off to Life of Recall and Rocks, which is funny. So that's the end of the game, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you enjoyed the uh, increased quality as well. So uh, if you did, make sure you like, uh, comment, uh, do your thing, leave a rating, all that. And uh, I'll leave both links to my channel and his channel if I can find both of them. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.